What's up guys, Galaxis here with another Castle Clash video and today we're doing a hero review for Revenant, also known as Undead Cavalry. And uh, since he's coming to the US server this evening, things have changed a little bit. So uh, I recorded this video actually last night, right before I seen uh, this morning that they gave us more updated information. So there's a few things that have changed, just want to take a real quick note of that. Um, the Phantom skill, which is actually now uh, not it's not Deadly Strike, it's actually a Berserk, 8 of 8 Berserk. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind, a little bit of a change. And um, basically, pretty much everything else is the same. So we'll get on into the review. Appreciate all you guys watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. All right, let's go ahead and jump on into it. What's up all you Clashers out there? Galaxis here and welcome back to another Castle Clash video. Today what we're going to be doing is working on this uh, new hero, Undead Cavalry. We're going to be doing a review here for this new hero. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying good things. Some people are saying some bad things about him. One of the bad things that people are point, pointing out is that this guy is actually moving uh, pretty slow to be on a horse. I mean, that is an issue, something that a lot of people are pointing out. And, you know, I have to agree with that. He should probably be moving a little bit faster because he's on a horse. Uh, you know, a horse definitely is going to be moving faster than a person would be moving. So, you know, that's one thing that is a pretty big issue. And let's just take a look. I mean, what are we talking about here? He's moving at 320, right? 280 uh, for the... For the Trixie Treat, you got Demogorgon at 300. I mean, he's moving faster than most of these guys. Lady Leo is, is 320. She's on a, a you know lion, so, I mean, that makes sense. But, uh, you know, as far as that goes, look at this. 400. He is running at 400. I mean, Skull Knight is running fast enough to catch up to a horse <laughs> in the world of Castle Clash. So that is pretty crazy right there. And, you know, I think they probably – might want to consider that. They might want to tweak that a little bit. Um, I mean, you know, maybe he just has a slow gallop. I mean, we might just have to accept that. I do like his look, though. You know, I do have to say I really like the look of the, uh, the horse with the, with the glow around his hooves and stuff. That's pretty sick. I mean, you know, the, the hero itself has a pretty awesome look with his, uh, with his glow, the purple glow all over everything. Pretty nice, but, you know, definitely questionable why he's moving so slow so that's one thing that we have to look at going to probably just have to go ahead and deal with that but you know this is an awesome hero so let's talk about what he does and you know what his his proc does and everything i got this guy at uh, level 40 and he was born with a 5 of 8 stone skin reduces damage taken by 25 percent i mean that's pretty epic already this guy is uh you know pretty high pretty high hp on him let's take a look real quick at that and then we'll talk about his skill real quick his hp is pretty much one of the strongest in the game so i guess you can sort of think of him as a tank because he's 75,000 hp and let's look i mean you know there's not a lot of other heroes that have health like that so far we haven't found anybody that that we have ghoulam who we are already know has you know the highest hp in the game and then you have uh dread drake it's right there with ghoulam He's close to Dread Drake and Ghoulam uh, and Skull Knight. But the rest of these guys, pretty low. And there you got Orcs Bane, that's a tank. Bottom line is, we have a new tank, guys. This guy is going to be a pretty awesome tank. Uh, you know, he can take a lot of damage. He's going to be moving relatively fast. I mean, in comparison to other tanks, let's see. Is he moving a lot faster than other tanks? Well... Uh, let's see who did, we had 220 there, so definitely moving faster than that tank. Um, pretty much right up there with Dread Drake. So this guy will move out and get out in front of a crowd and take a lot of damage for you when he procs. Um, you also got to consider something. His duplicate hero will also have that same amount of HP. So what are we talking about? You know, 75,000 HP, that's for him. But his duplicate phantom will also have 75,000 HP. So really, this hero has 150,000 HP for all but about three seconds when he's out there on the field, 150,000 HP. So, I mean, you know, that's something to consider. This guy can be a super tank. So we're going to have to look at some things that we can do uh, that's going to help out to make that possible, to make him a lot stronger. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his skill, then we'll go do some gameplay. Got him at 3 of 10. 
Uh, now, what his skill is, is damaging uh, four to six nearby enemies. It's called the Phantom Flame. It's going to damage four to six nearby enemies, stun three seconds, going to stun those guys, creates the Phantom Duplicate Hero that lasts 12 seconds and has a 15-second cooldown, and he's immune to scatter. So only three seconds that there isn't going to be a Phantom, and then he'll just pop right back up. And since the, uh, you know, Undead Cavalry is, is actually immune to scatter, it's going to be hard to take any energy away from him. I don't know if he's immune to, uh, you know, what Medusa can do to him. I don't know. We'll have to look at that. But, uh, you know, as far as scatter goes, he can be immune to that. and He's not going to lose any energy from that. When, he, when his Phantom is out there, when he procs, the Phantom Duplicate Hero also damages five enemies, and that is a uh, set number. You know, he, Undead Cavalry, damages four to six enemies. Well, the Phantom actually damages five enemies, and that's set in stone. And then he also stuns them for three seconds. So you got two guys stunning at one time, going up against, uh, you know, one hero. It's going to be pretty awesome in, in game modes like, um, you know, I guess not really so much Fortress Few, but game modes like the Arena, uh, Lost Battlefield, um, you know, things where you go head-to-head -head, like Guild Wars. Uh, definitely going to take advantage in Guild Wars. All right, and then the Phantom skill also reduces damage taken of the friendly hero. I think it's with the lowest HP and heals them for 200 to 800% attack. So th that is a variable, but the minimum is 200 up to 800% attack. That hero, the Phantom hero, has an 8 of 8 deadly strike, and that's a 10% chance to deal 15 times damage. So, I mean, this guy is going to be a boss killer. A straight-up boss killer, guys. I mean, it's pretty epic. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy on the battlefield. Let's see if we can find some good heroes for him to be able to fight. Maybe see a Vlad Dracula or somebody like that. Uh, most of these guys are, like, level 1, and we got level 40. So that's going to be, he'll pretty much crush any of these guys. We want to be able to find somebody that put up a little bit of a fight. We might have to just destroy some of this stuff just to find somebody good. Let's just do that. Let's get him out here, see what we can do against the whole entire crowd. Not a problem, just taking those guys out. Got the duplicate hero. Look at that, man. They just basically one shot. You know, I'm, I'm wondering, though, is there a way to tell which one is which? Because they look pretty much identical. I mean, that sort of can be confusing. If you're, you know, if you're sitting up there trying to figure out if your guy is actually going to die or not. Also trying to figure out who you want to heal. That could be a problem, too. So what is the difference? I mean, he's a phantom. He's a duplicate hero. I can't really see anything different about him. Okay, let's see. We're going to try and see if we can find somebody good here to fight. Uh, level 7. Let's look for somebody with a Vlad or a Skull Knight or something. And that is some serious healing. Find man. somebody with a good hero that we can fight. I'd like to see some good legend. Oh, well, here's a group of people, but you know, they're all low level. We'll go ahead and put him in there and see what he does against all these guys. They're all low level, though, so I don't really think they can do much damage. Plus, he has that stone skin, so it's not going to really hurt him. But let's see what he does against these guys. One shot. Oh, and then we got a whole crowd of guys here. So when he procs, it takes out a lot of those little guys. There you go. Taking them out. And it looks like their proc is actually right on time. If they're together then they basically proc right on time. That is going to be pretty awesome. Having this guy out there on the battlefield, um, you know, I think it's going to be pretty scary to see this guy coming up, man, because uh, the dude duplicates himself, and it's like, which one is which? You don't know. You don't know who to go after. Uh, here's an Ares, but just so low level. I mean, it's not really going to do anything. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and try and find a couple more. We can go ahead and do some, uh, some stuff in the dungeon also. 
get a chance to see what's up in the dungeon. There's a Santa Boom and a Cupid, but they're just super low level, so I know they're not going to be able to do anything. Looking for somebody with a, you know, at least a level 20. At least a level 20 hero, man, because uh, this guy, <laughs> he is one of the highest uh, HP heroes in the game. So, oh, here we go. Well, they're low level, but that's a Skull Knight. Cupid, what a nice start. Let's see what happens when he goes out here and Skull Knight gets a chance to take a whack at him. Yeah, he's pretty much just killing all those guys. No problem. I mean, that's not even a challenge. Not even a challenge. Okay, uh, what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll do a little bit of these dungeons, and, uh, you know, we'll see what it's like in the dungeon. Let's see, we're right here on this dungeon. Uh, these dungeons really aren't a lot of damage either. I mean, they can't really do a lot of damage, so there's really not much that can challenge him at this level. And, you know, like I was saying, they're, they're, these guys out on the battlefield, they have two times the HP that they have to try and kill if they want to take us out. And, you know, you'd hope that they just go ahead and keep targeting the Phantom, and that just gives you such an opportunity and, you know, if the main hero has, a, like, a high-level life drain crest, that could be pretty awesome. Because just keep him alive, and then he keeps on duplicating the phantom. And, uh, you know, they could just keep on wiping stuff out, man. It'd be pretty awesome. So I think that's sort of a thought that I'm having. A life drain might help out. Because this guy is super, super high. And, again, when you have a life drain and you're using it with a super high... Uh, health uh, HP guy then you're getting a lot out of that life drain because life drain is healing for a percentage of that health so you know so far I'd say this is a pretty awesome hero you know we got a chance to take him out on the battlefield he pretty much crushed everybody because there was nobody with the you know high enough level and in the dungeons he's wiping stuff out um, leave me some comments let me know your thoughts on this new hero and get ready he's coming to the game tonight guys so keep on clashing, keep grinding. We'll catch you guys next time. Galaxis out.